Okay, I'm back. I'm back. All right. So let's go ahead and look at some more examples. All right. We're identifying whether the sequence is arithmetic, geometric, both, or neither. Or neither. All right. So in Jamaica, we say neither. All right. So let's go ahead and look at a few more examples. It says Rafi found some empty bins to put cans in for recycle. He puts two 35 empty cans in first bin. All right. So he puts two 35 in the first bin. Then he puts two 17 in the second bin. Then he puts one 99 in the third bin. And then he puts 181 in the fourth bin. What type of sequence is this? All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to check to see if it's arithmetic. All right. We're going to check to see if it's arithmetic. How do we check that we find the difference between the first and the second term? All right. So if we go and we say 217 minus 235, that's going to give me a total of, from here to here, it's going to give me a total of minus 18. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and check the difference between the two seconds. So I go 199 minus 217, and that's also going to give me a, a total of minus 18. So I'm starting to realize a pattern here of a common difference of negative 18. So let's check to see if it's the same thing here. So I go 181 minus 199, and this also gives me a common difference here of minus 18 all right so boom i know that it is an arithmetic sequence but what i want to do is i want to go in and i want to also check to make sure that it is not a geometric sequence so remember a geometric sequence this is a common ratio all right so let's go ahead and check the ratio so for it to be a common ratio i'm going to take 217 divided by 235 all right so 217 divided by 235, this gives me 0 0.923, all right? So again, I'm going to take 199 divided by 217, which this is, so 199 divided by 217, and this is going to give me 0 0.917. So I see from here that it is not so it is an arithmetic sequence but it's not a geometric sequence so my answer is gonna be boom arithmetic sequence all right let's go ahead and look at the other two examples here what type of sequence is it so i'm going to check if it's an arithmetic sequence all right arithmetic remember arithmetic is a common difference it either can be added or subtracted. So I realize that it goes from 22, from 32 to 36, which is a difference of four. They added four. So what's the difference between 36 and 40? They added four again. Here, they also added four. So I realize there's a pattern. Each time they're adding four. So I know that check, yes, it is an arithmetic sequence. All right, now I'm gonna check if it's a geometric sequence, all right? So what do I do? I'm going to put 36 divided by 32. So we got 36 divided by 32. 36 divided by 32 is going to give me 1.125. So I'm also going to check 40 divided by 36. All right, 40 divided by 36. So we have 40 divided by 36. And this is going to give me 1.125. One, one. All right. So you start and see a difference. They're not the same. So because they're not the same, we know that it is not a geometric sequence. So my answer is yes, it is an arithmetic sequence. All right. Oh, wow. Let's look at this one here. What do we got here? All of the numbers are the same. So in this one, all the numbers are the same. If you guys remember earlier when I said to you that there's a special case where it says the only way a sequence can be both arithmetic and geometric is if the numbers repeat over and over and over. So what do I mean by that? Remember with arithmetic, right? With an arithmetic sequence, it had to be added or subtracted. So what, what can I add from 453 to 4, 
53. I can, yes, I can add 0. I can also add 0. I can add 0. So if I add 0 from there to there, it's the same number. If I add 0, if I add 0, it's the same thing. So yes, it is an arithmetic sequence. But how can I get from here to here by multiplying? Oh, what if I multiply by 1? What if I multiply by 1? What if I multiply by 1? So once I multiply by 1, it is a geometric sequence. So guess what my answer is going to be for this one? The numbers repeat over and over from term to term. So it's going to be both. My answer here is going to be both. All right. So let's, let's look at two more examples. And then I'm going to let you guys do some by yourself. All right. So it says, Ira, Ira went out in her garden and cut one rose from the first row. So one from the first. All right. Four rows from the second. And then it says what? Nine from the third and 16 from the fourth. What type of sequence is this? So again, we're going to do arithmetic. All right. We're going to do arithmetic. And then we're going to do geometric at the bottom. All right. So again, remember the pattern for arithmetic, it got to be the same number that's added or subtracted over. And for geometric, it got to be a pattern, the same number that's multiplied or divided. All right. So the difference between the first and the second term is three. The difference between the second and third term is five. And then we have seven. So there is not a pattern. All right. There is not a pattern here. So it's not an arithmetic sequence. So let's check geometric. So we have, if for geometric, if we say 4 divided by 1, 4 divided by 1 is 4. So from here to here, it's 4. And if we say 9 divided by 4, all right, 9 divided by 4, 9 divided by 4, it's 2.25. So it's two different numbers. It's not the same. So it's not arithmetic and it's not geometric. That means it's what? Boom. It's neither. All right. So let's look at our final example. We have 47 DVDs. All right. Nancy put 47 in the first rack. Then he put 94 in the second rack. Then he put 188 in the third rack. Then he put 376 in the fourth rack. So we have arithmetic. Again, remember the pattern for arithmetic. It has to be what? The same number that's added or subtracted over. And for geometric, it got to be the same number that's multiplied or divided. So what's the difference between 94 and 47? The difference here is 47. All right. What's the difference between 188 and 94? What's the difference? Oh, it's 94. So we realize that this, not, this cannot be arithmetic because it's not the same number. So it's not arithmetic. All right. So now let's check if it's geometric. For it to be geometric, you got to have the common ratio. So 94 divided by 47, second term divided by the first, is equals to, so let's go 94 divided by 47. What do we get? Oh, 2. All right. So let's check a second one. So we got 188, which is the third number, divided by the second number, which is 94. So 188 divided by 94. Ooh, we're starting to see a pattern here. It's 2. So let's go to the third one. 376 divided by 188. Let's divide. Boom, boom, boom. We divide. Ooh, what we realize. Oh, we got a pattern. 2, 2, 2. So that means... It is a geometric sequence because if you multiply 47 times 2, all right, you're going to get 94. 94 times 2, you're going to get 188. 188 times 2, you're going to get 376. So, yes, it is a geometric sequence. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll be more than happy to help you. All right, have a good day.